Hello, my name is Dragonboy950 and today I'm going to be showcasing you an awesome redstone build that I've built in my free time. Now I've got a little system here, but if you're interested to and how you build any of these, then just post the name of it down in the comments section and at some point I'll build you I'll build you make you a tutorial on how to make it in Minecraft. I'll give you all the names of the builds at the end, but right now we get on to the most secure safe I've ever built. So we start off with a cool little flying machine door. And then you come to a room full of all manners of chain of locks. There's five of them in total. The first one is this shrine where you must appease each of the three shrines with the correct sacrifice and of course I wanted to be as much of a pain as I can to people in survival mode so what three items did I choose do you ask well I chose the enchanted golden apple the enchantment table and the beacon all incredibly expensive all painful to just throw away and of course you've got to get the order right if you get the order wrong you're not getting your items back. And if I remember right, it's enchantment table, gavel, and beacon. So that should be those three shines all appeased. Now the next one is the button press, which you don't just have to get right, you also have to push them in the right amount of time. Now this one, unlike the others, it gives you a sign, well, this one, well, the keycard read gives you a sign that you've got it right. I, but huh, you have to push them in the exact right order in the... And, and you push the exact buttons in the exact order. Go. Ah, I couldn't get that last one. Yeah, so I didn't hear a piston, so I got it wrong. Doop, doop, doop. Now is it. Yep, there you go. You can hear the piston. Now this one here is probably the second most annoying, well, third most annoying if you include the shrines for the robber, because it's a block cycle. You don't, and I've chosen my favourite block to be the block you have to choose. Now, the robber won't know which block is my favourite, but I do. So when I, I reach the block that I've selected her to be my favourite block, blue ice, I love it, um, that activates a system with a redstone block that's somewhere in the line and and then that activates the circuit which turns off another part of the AND gate. Now probably the simplest one is this lever lock. So one, two, three, four. Just four thing. Hing. But then it doesn't give you indication any indication you've got it right. So you, so you might think it's a five digit one and flip this one. Or you might think you've got it wrong because there's no noise and move over to this one. But the thing is, this is the correct combination. And then the final and the hardest one is the keycard reader. This is a special little design which I learned from a YouTuber called Mumbo Jumbo. Thanks Mumbo, I'll link your, your channel in, de in the description. And what it is, is you can, you can put an item in here. It can be any item in the air game. So I'll just example, not chapel. But if but when you press the button, only the item that you've selected can go in the machine and turn it on. But the thing is, not only the item, but it all has to have the right name with the correct characters. So that's how many items there are in game times how many characters you can choose for a single, how many, for a single space, and then times that by 34 for how many characters you can have. And in that, I have chosen about the most random thing I can choose, a fermented spider eye with the name, the class 385, operated by Scott Whale, no spaces, and just capitals indiscriminately, indiscriminately everywhere. Put that in, press the button, system's all active, and the door opens. 
and then you walk in here, you're probably ecstatic. It took you so long to get this point, you had to get all sorts of stuff, you had to get the exact right combination. Also the door closes behind you, but if you want to get out, you can just push this handy daddy button I've got here and it opens again for you. And you finally get gotten my loot, and it's... <sighs> but the thing is, this is not trash. This is not dirt. You should not think, this is poop, I'm just gonna get out of here. If you knew what you were doing, you take this dirt, and you throw it on this floor tile here. What is this? It is opened. And it closes up behind you. So that means no one else can get in. No one knows where you've gone. And now it's a one-way system to make sure you can't get back and leave it open. And now you've reached this room down here, which has all manner of chests which you can put stuff into. But then the safest chest of all... There's no redstone here. It's just as simple as being an ender chest. When you put an item in here, no one else can access these items apart from you. You are the sole person who can open this chest. No one else can unless they hack onto your account. But then of course, you can't leave here. You're stuck down here forever with your valuables. Unless of course you're blind and you don't see this button. That opens up just a very simple door, it's just two pistons, it's about as simple as you can get. So I'll not be including how you make this. But then this, indeed, is a minecart system. If you wanted to be lazy, you could just walk along it. Or, you could get an especially designed system, which means you don't have to place a minecart, activate the wheel, or push any buttons. You just... And that's it. And now you get taken on a weird and wonderful minecart journey. God knows where it's taken you. Twists and turns everywhere. Until eventually, it even breaks it for you with a cactus. That simple. And then you reach here. Of course, there's a bit of exposed redstone, but I don't really know how you'd cover it up. But you stand on this special little slime block here. Press the button, and you're out. And then... And just so I can make it as sadistic as I can, I wonder why I made it prop you out. Right back at the start. Now it's the end. If you want to see more like this, subscribe. And if you want to give if me, if you want me to show you how to build one of these things, then sure, I'll quickly run you down the names list. Number one. Piston flying machine door for PlayStation Edition and, and ba basically accessible for all editions. Number two, the sacrificial shrines. Number three, the timed button press. Number four, the block swapper. Number five is the lever lock. Number six is the keycard reader. Number seven is the 3x3 three three vault door. And I try, I haven't got it. Number eight is his the dirt block grabber and combined with this door, which I have to break because I forgot the key. And then and number nine, I'll grab these in case I need it again. Number nine will be the lazy minecart station at both ends. Number 9, number 10, which you probably won't have noticed, is how I've powered these whales. Because if you look, there's no redstone in the floor, you can't see anything. And then finally, the last one, number 11, is the system that pops you up the ground and closes up behind you. So, oh yeah. Get out of here, you creeper. I do not want you in my house. So if you want me to tell you how to learn any of those, just comment down below and, and I will get around to you with videos showing you how you make it. Sucks to be you right now, Dragon Boy, out.